So you bought yourself a Wise Owl Stingray sprayer gun, but it's still in the box. Or maybe you broke it out of the box and have not put product in it. And the why? The why is because you don't know how to clean it. That was my biggest fear, anxiety thing that I had when I first started spraying. And again, if you're watching this video and it's 2022, I've only sprayed four pieces as of today. And that was the one thing that held me back for the longest time. So today I'm going to walk through how you clean your Wiseau Stingray Sprayer Gun from start to finish to hopefully get you over those anxiety moments you have of actually using it. Because I'm telling you right now, you're going to spray, you're going to love it with our Wiseau Stingray Sprayer Gun and especially if you use our Wiseau One Hour Enamel. As an example, Charleston Green One Hour Enamel sprayed with this gun. I'm a beginner and look at the results you can get. But the cleaning, that's the one thing that held me back and might be holding you back too. So if this is something you're looking forward to, stay tuned today. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start my YouTube video of me disassembling because even for me, it's good to have a visual on how I'm taking this thing apart as I take it apart. So just as a reminder, we have a disassemble and a reassemble video that will walk you through the correct way to do both, which is key in washing your spray gun. So I'm gonna to flip to some music and some um, voiceover and just get this party started. All right, as you see, I'm hitting play on YouTube because that is my disassembly video. Again, I am brand new to spraying. If you're just now watching this and it's years later, I've gotten better probably, but as of loading this video, I've sprayed three, four total pieces. So I created a video to share with everybody else that's like me, a beginner to spraying and needs a little assistance on how the heck to disassemble this thing. Thankfully with our Apollo made Stingray sprayer, it only has like 15 pieces. So it's really, really easy to take apart, easy to clean. It, because it is a metal sprayer, I mean, just super, super easy to clean. So all I'm doing right now is I'm emptying out the cup. I used primer for this, so it's sticking pretty good because our Wiseau paint primers stick to everything. Um, it's a stain blocking and, and for adhesion, which it means it sticks to stuff really, really well. So just have that in mind. You don't want to let this cup sit for too long. You don't want to let the gun sit for very long. You definitely want to clean it directly after if you're doing a hot water soap and water method like I'm doing here. You can of course use chemical based cleaners. I'm using our Bad Ace brush soap, which is amazing to clean paint off your hands, off your brushes, off your equipment. So that's another Wiseau paint product. Comes in different scents and all kinds of stuff. The biggest thing with soap and water to ensure you rinse. Rinse really, really, really well on any parts that you're using soap. Our, our Bad Ace brush soap will work amazingly well to break down our primers and paints because they're all water-based, which is another amazing thing. So you have that as an option for you. All right, so I basically just rinsed this thing out a little bit, filled it up with a little Bad Ace brush soap, put some hot water, and I'm gonna set that off to the side, and then we're gonna move on to the gun. I have my little brush, and as you see off to the right, that's a brush cleaning kit that you get, you can get added on when you buy your Wiseau Stingray Sprayer on our WiseauPaint.com. So, because it sticks really hardcore i'm kind of just rinsing as i go brushing as i go and some of the other parts even though i'm not necessarily disassembling the the gun at parts so you'll see me stop and rinse and brush stop and rinse and brush just because i don't want to leave any of it sitting for very long where it has an opportunity to dry on me and i could have made this a lot easier on myself had i filled the cup with water and sprayed out some of this but again newbie um, going through a little bit of newbie learning curves, you can spray your cup full of water to spray out the insides a little bit easier for yourself. So I'm gonna disassemble the gun from the cup assembly. So I got my wrench, just kind of loosen that nut um, with a wrench, loosen it by hand, pop it off. And we're just gonna start taking it apart. That's gonna be the first, you're just gonna wanna take and separate the two. And as you see, there's primer coming out of that. And then you're gonna take the you're gonna take the tube off 
from the valve on both the cup assembly and the gun. And you really don't need to clean that out. Biggest thing is just try to whip it around a little bit. Make sure you, all the water gets out of there. If there's any that gets in it from you pulling it, putting it around the water and ensure it stays dry. So next we have our cup assembly again, just kind of rinsing as I go, even though it's not really a part I'm going to necessarily take apart at this time. But anytime I see where there, you could definitely see that gray primer there. I just want to keep it wet as I'm moving along. So as I move on to the gun, which is my next steps here, and we're going to go from back to front when we're disassembling the gun. So we're going to start with our, well, I tell you what, let's take off the tube fitting first. And of course I got my big old wrench that I used in the disassemble and reassemble video. So we're going to take off the tube fitting. Uh, just, it's usually pretty easy to just unscrew a little bit, pop that thing off. And really it's probably not going to get a whole lot of paint on it, but with everything, I'm still just giving it a good little rinse. Give it a look, see, make sure none of the threads have any paint or anything on it and set it off to the side. I always have a little towel or something to set everything on so it can sit and dry and do its thing as I go through the rest of the process. So of course we're gonna go from the back to the front. So we're gonna start disassembling from the back. But as I've mentioned, every once in a while, I'm gonna rinse because if I wait to get to those spots to rinse, to go through the steps to take this apart, something might dry on you. So as you're going, just kind of rinse it. That's why it's great to have a little sink to do with. So you take your adjustment knob off, rinse it out. You might have some uh, paint in the threads, you know, I'll just rinse it out a little bit. That was pretty clean. If you, if it's not, you can get the brush as you see me going here after the brush a little bit. And another cool thing about having your cup full of the bad A soap is you can dip the brush into that hot water and use it a little bit as you need to. Okay. We're going to take the spring out, rinse it if you need to, and then we're going to remove the needle. The needle can get a little bit sticky and tight. So I just use my shirt to have a little bit better grip because my fingers were a little bit wet and slippery. You just pull that off. Usually the tip is the part that you're going to see whatever product you are using and you're just going to rinse that off. And again, set it to the side, put it on your towel, allow it to dry. Next is your gland nut. You're going to take that off with the provided wrench that comes with your stingray sprayer. And this should be fairly, it's not, this is one of those things where it's not put on super, super tight. So it should just be a quick little tug and then pull it off with your fingers and then that whole area all in there you're going to want to make sure you clean out really well so this one is an area where it's going to have probably some product stuck on there pretty good so you want to get your brush or one of the other little cleaning brushes and just kind of jab in and around and all in the threads to make sure that you get it good and clean and again our primer sticks it's hardcore it's great for stain blocking that's like its main purpose but it also is a adhesion primer and it wants to stick to everything so another key to kind of doing this fairly quickly this is about a 24 minute video so that's all the time it takes to clean an entire gun um, but i wasn't goofing around with it i was going right straight through it and ensuring i got everything clean quickly again because that primer will dry and stick and make it really hard especially with just soap and water to get off if you're using acetone or something obviously it would clean no problem but i don't like using chemicals if i don't have to and with this sprayer being metal and our bad a soap I don't really have to as long as i get to cleaning directly after use next up we're going to take off the whole front end and that's going to be the air cap air cap ring air distribution plate and the spring first and foremost so we're going to take all that off and again continue to rinse out as i go as you can see as you start popping pieces off more areas are exposed and more you're allowed to kind of rinse through so you're just never leaving the gun sitting for too long where you're not continuously making sure it's wet you're continuously having water go through the thing and i take and i'm just going through each of these parts so the spring the plate and just give it a little scrub. I mean, you don't have to be too terribly specific with that because those parts are not really going to have a lot of product on it. 
the ring is not going to have a lot of product on it normally unless you're a messy sprayer uh, for me i'm kind of uh you know retentive i guess is the word with my processes even while i'm spraying so i try to keep it clean as i go and then we get to the cap which is probably going to be the part that's the dirtiest especially with anything that sticks to metal pretty well like a primer um, like a one hour enamel it will want it dries fast sticks to it and has great adhesion so you're going to want to get the little brushes out and that this brush set that comes on the ring, the, the smallest of, will actually go through all the holes, all the way through, and ensure you have it nice and squeaky clean and perfect for your next time. This is very important because this area is where the, the HBLP blows the air through on those little holes on the sides. So you really want to make sure nothing is clogging it up and it is perfectly clean all the way through from front to back. So that's a, a, a extremely important part that you want to take the time as you see me here scratching and digging and scrubbing and getting other different little cleaning brushes to ensure it's perfect like it was brand new again and it might not be for everybody to have it that clean but you know it's a, an expensive piece of equipment so it'll last as long as you take care of it all right so next up i'm going back to the gun and we're going to just rinse it out one more time because it's been sitting there for a couple minutes. Again, continuously rinsing. I'm going to keep saying that because it's very important. When you're using these products, especially our primer that has these amazing adhesion qualities, you're going to make it harder on yourself if you're cleaning with soap and water if you don't continuously rinse. So work a part, rinse. Work another part, rinse. All right, so we got the gun wrench out again, and we're going to take out the nozzle with the angled end. And you just little turn pops it unscrew it with your fingers and then the nozzle will also have a fiber washer and you'll see i'm going to rinse that out you see that the more you open the more you're exposing the more you're going to allow air to get into dry so rinse 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 and then go to the piece this part is always dirty is always going to need a little extra scrub in comparison to much of the other areas because it's where the product is flowing through and then as you'll see, I'll pull off the little fiber washer. Now this is really important too, because obviously having that washer in there is gonna keep it nice and tight and all those things. So you're gonna wanna ensure it's clean, but it's a fiber washer. So you're gonna wanna be careful with it too. You're not gonna wanna scrub too hard. You're not gonna wanna yank your tug and pull on it too much because you don't wanna break it. And then you go back to the nozzle and this is where it's gonna take a little scrubbing. You're probably gonna have some in the threads. And then also the little cleaning brushes will go through the actual hole so you go down in with a bigger one go you see how it turned white just those threads in the inside were full so you take the bigger one and then you get the smaller one and you can stick it all the way through to ensure that there's no guck in and around all the way through that tip and again this is another important part because this is where your product is going through so you have one that's going air and one that has proc and this is going to be your product going through here so you really want to ensure it's perfect and clean and all the good things and if you're using soap and water you know obviously it's you know you're going to need to make sure it does it where like an acetone or something is just going to eat it off and you, it's a little easier if you want to use chemicals but i'm giving you the down and dirty with just hot water and soap and the fact that it is possible and is easy to do and it 24 minutes I was able to clean this entire gun and share the whole process with you guys so if you're not a chemical person or you're just not into having that kind of stuff in your shop like I'm not because of sinus issues that I have I try to keep it with just green clean safer to use indoors kind of thing so that's what I have and then our bad a soap is exactly that so but this part you can see is definitely a little bit has a little bit more product on it. So I'm using this other long brush, which is a little bit more coarse. And I put a little bad A soap on it and I just kind of scrub, get some bubbles going, allow it, it to do its magic to clean the paint off. The, again, biggest thing, ensure you're always rinsing really, really well anytime you're using a soap instead of a chemical. Obviously the chemicals will evaporate and yada yada, that all kind of stuff. But, soaps will have residue so you want to ensure that you rinse anywhere that you're using soap 
extremely well. So you don't have any cross contamination with your paints and stuff like that. All right, so now we get to the gun and we have a couple of really long brush deals that we're gonna shove in and around to ensure all the areas where there was product that, yeah, you see how dirty that one was? So that's what I'm saying. Like you really got to use your tools and that I can't emphasize enough how important this set was being brand new to painting with a, a spray gun. I wasn't sure if it was really necessary, but if there, it is super necessary because as you see, some of these brushes are made specifically for certain areas, get into certain areas where other, you know, tools and stuff you might have in your shop probably are not. So definitely worth um, picking that up and you can buy that with your sprayer on wiselpaint.com. We have a brush cleaning kit and it comes with everything you see. So it's got the couple of long brushes, couple of medium sized brushes, and then the little teeny tiny ones. And you can see, look at how important this brush is right here. All the way through where that product is getting pulled up through the pickup tube. So you want to clean that pickup tube out really, really well. And that yellow looking brush is a little bit more coarse and will really scrub it out. But as I've mentioned, since I've been rinsing throughout this whole process, all you know, 15 minutes of this, I continually rinse. It wasn't like it was caked on, dried on or anything like that. So if you do end up having that, obviously you're going to need to use chemicals. If you did wait a day or two and you got dried on stuff everywhere, soap and water may not be the way to go. Just know that no matter how messed up you get this thing, especially it being metal, you can use acetone and some other things to get it brand new squeaky clean again. You'll just have to deal with the chemicals to do it. So don't stress if you forgot, if life happened and you're sprayer was sitting out for you know weeks days on end you'll be all right so in the cup assembly i'm removing the air relief valve and that's that little screw that was on there i just pop that guy off sometimes you'll have product down in there and you just want to clean that out and we're going to stick the little brush in and through both of those holes that we have there and just ensure there's it's nice and clean Shouldn't have a whole lot of product going on in there at this point because we've rinsed it off quite a bit. Rinse, 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 continue rinsing. Again, anytime soap, rinse really well. Next up, we're gonna pull out the gasket. And one little trick, you can take your needle, poke it into the thing, pop it up, and pull it out. You definitely want to clean your gasket because you'd be surprised. See how much is in there? You want, you have to get in there and pull this thing off. The very first time I ever sprayed, I didn't when I cleaned this and I, I could have had cross contamination into whatever I was doing next because the next time I used it I did pop it off and I realized there was stuff from the previous time hidden and dried up underneath there so you really got to make sure that gets pulled off really easy again take your needle stick it pull it pop it up a little bit and then just pull the rest off by hand and then you're gonna get your bad a soap and scrub 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 because this area especially in the cup assembly was where your product was the whole time so you're going to really want to make sure it gets cleaned off and because again primer sticks really really well as i've said uh it was a little bit painful because this area had started to dry because you gotta imagine it was in the cup at the top of the cup had more time to dry so i really had to get in there and clean in and around and then again through that to look at that soap so you know, get that pickup to clean really really well from top to bottom bottom to top and rinse 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 and I rinsed a lot because again soap you want to make sure you don't have any residue left over that carries and contaminates or any of that kind of stuff and as you can see sticking a primer is no joke man uh, <laughs> that's the only thing I've seen uh, so far anyway that is a little bit of a bear on the spots where it dried but just proves i guess to me when i i'm happy about that when i know i'm painting a piece of furniture and i'm using our stain blocking primer that it's also going to have some amazing adhesive qualities so if you ever need that that's perfect for it so i'm just looking double checking a couple spots i am pretty anal retentive i'm not gonna lie about my equipment so that military side of me 
brought over to the painting world and you know knowing that each part deserves to be taken care of a certain way especially when you know it's expensive you want to take care of your your brushes your sprayer all the different things that you spend money on so they can you know work the way they're supposed to work last the way they're supposed to last and all that other kind of stuff so i'm just continuing this voiceover <laughs> as i continue to clean but really isn't much else i can say at this point we're just going through and kind of repeating what i need to repeat in the different areas in which i felt like okay this needs a little bit more cleaning so i just going around the gun looking for anything that looks like that gray primer taking some soap to it scrub 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 rinse 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 and yep down in right where that little uh geez what the thing called gland nut is seem to have a little bit of product so i got some soap and my brush and just kind of scrubbed in there real good to ensure but there's a little washer down in there too so you, you might be deceiving because it's a, a white so just know like you're not going to scrub the white away because that's just something that's there when you plug in the gland nut all right it's looking good and again that youtube video I, I'm done with it now because I've already disassembled, but there is a reassemble video. So after you disassembled, watch the video to disassemble while you're cleaning because that's very helpful to get all the parts out that you need out. And then this video, of course, to do the cleaning, you'll have a reassemble video and I will tag that or attach that in the video and in the video description below so you know how to put it back together. And I do the same thing. I'm still new, I'm still learning, and it's not second nature on how exactly this thing goes together, but there is a method. So obviously you put taking it apart back to front, right? So there is a method, a reason for going that direction and it'll be the same when putting it back together. Now again, just going around, double checking any of the little threads, that might uh, have issues threading something on if there was product there and ensuring it all gets cleaned off really, really well. I think that looks good. We're gonna put the gun aside. And then after we, everything's had a little time to sit and drip dry, I'm gonna go back one last time and just double and triple check everything. And still, we're only 21 minutes into this, that's it. 21 minutes to clean your gun so if you used it to spray even one piece I normally try to do at least two at a time but even one piece 21 minutes to clean is pretty awesome and it only has like I said I think if I remember correctly 15 parts once you disassemble it so it doesn't have a ton of pieces to have to keep track of and I think after a while, I'm gonna really get used to this and I'm not really gonna to need to have a video anymore because it's just that minimal. And the fact that it's metal is gonna make it really easy to clean, which <clears throat> I've never used a plastic sprayer before, but I can imagine a plastic sprayer and trying to scrape off primer or any other kind of product that sticks a lot would, I don't know, I couldn't imagine that being fun at all whatsoever. So, Going back to the nozzle, making sure that thing's good because of course that's where the product's going through. And again, just going part by part by part one last time around to ensure both clean and fully rinsed. So I had time to sit, maybe a little residue sat, rinse it off one last time. And then of course the gasket. This thing can get a little dirty, so dip your brush in a little bad ace soap water, scrub around. Get that guy all squared away. And then that'll go in one way or the other. You'll see a little indentation so you'll know what side goes up into it. All right, and then I'm gonna get the cup back after it's been sitting, and I'm just gonna do a little scrubbing. And you see that ring on the inside? That's primer, and again, that's what I'm saying, how much this stuff sticks, it's crazy. Um, this was where, obviously, it was sitting in the cup for an extended period of time. Uh, and the top of that sat and started to dry. 
just like you would expect. So that one little ring was my problem child, but I scrubbed with some bad A soap later and it turned out amazing. So if that's your video, hope everybody enjoyed it and hopefully it's gonna be helpful for you in your cleaning your spray gun adventure. So there you have it, just that simple. Cleaning your Wise Owl Stingray Sprayer gun. And again, 15 pieces, take it apart. It's metal, makes it really easy to clean. Grab you some bad A soap and bust that thing out. Get past that fear of the cleaning part knowing that it's really actually very easy. You just need to know the steps. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe, hit like, drop comments if you need any other information about our Wise Owl Stingray Sprayer. And don't forget, to go watch the disassemble and the reassemble videos to go along now with our cleaning video to help you get over that hump of cleaning, putting it back together, taking it apart, all the things so you can create something beautiful just like this today. I hope everybody has a blessed day and as always, happy painting.